Welcome to Computer Tech TV. My name is Rick Arter, and today's video is going to be a quick comparison between the Intel Core i5-2500K and the AMD Phenom 2 X6-1100T. To start out, let's look at the specifications and the pricing of both of these CPUs. Now, the pricing of these CPUs is accurate as of the making of this video. The Intel Core i5-2500K comes in around $219.99. It's based off the LGA 1155 socket, features TDP of 95 watts, manufacturing process of 32 nanometers, features four physical cores, 3.3 gigahertz clock speed, 3.7 gigahertz turbo speed, four times 256 kilobytes of L2 cache, and six megabytes of shared L3 cache. And this CPU features no hyperthreading. The AMD Phenom 2 X6-1100T comes in around $189.99. It is based off the AM3 socket. It has a TDP of 125 watts. Based off the 45 nanometer manufacturing process, features six physical cores, the 3.3 gigahertz clock speed, and 3.7 gigahertz turbo speed. Features six times 512 megabytes of L2 cache and six megabytes of shared L3 cache. It also features a hypertransport speed of 4,000 megahertz. To start out, let's look at the power consumption between the 2500K and the 1100T using Prime 95. In idle state, the 2500K uses 63 watts versus the 1100T at 84 watts. At 100% load, it is 134 watts for the 2500K and 215 watts for the 1100T, which is quite a bit difference there as far as power consumption under load. Benchmarking of the 2500K versus the 1100T, as you can see here, is some results that I've found. Uh, and the higher, the better on all of these. Uh, Cinebench 11.5 multi-threaded, you have 5.42 versus 5.7. 3D Mark Vantage CPU test, you have 17,343 versus 16,955. And on a multi-threaded handbrake video transcoding test, you got 16.32 versus 19.35. So as you can see, the 2500K does come ahead sometimes, but it does fall behind on certain multi-threaded synthetic benchmarks. Now on to memory performance. The 2500K, as you can see in both memory read and memory write, far outperforms the 1100T. Now in these tests, they were using the H67 on the 2500K and the 880G on the 1100T. So some of this might have to do with the chipset, and Intel's chipset and CPU obviously is far beyond the AMD side here. As you can see, it is pretty much double the performance on the memory side of things. On the gaming side of things, the higher frames per second is always better. I've chosen a few games here that I thought showed the difference pretty well between the 2500K and the 1100T. You have Left 4 Dead 2, StarCraft 2, and Dragon Age Origins. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference there between the Intel and the AMD side of things. So for all you gamers out there, this should really give you an idea of what you can look for when you are building a gaming system, whether you should choose the 2500K or the 1100T. Now, in these tests on the websites that I found, they used all the same components except for the motherboard and the CPUs. To conclude this comparison, I decided to bring overclocking into here. Now, the 2500K is an amazing overclocking CPU. I've seen clock speeds on uh, really good air cooling and water cooling of upwards of around 4.5 gigahertz, sometimes higher, depending on if you're doing a benchmark run. And on the 1100T, you're looking around 4 gigahertz. So uh, now everybody's components are going to be different, of course. So if yours are higher or lower, that is just the way the CPUs are. There's nothing really you can do about that. And it also depends on the motherboard and memory that you're running. Uh, the better the motherboard, the better the memory. Of course, your overclocks are going to be higher. But in general, the 2500K is almost always going to outclock the 1100T. In conclusion, which CPU should you buy? Well, it really doesn't come down to price so much anymore because these CPUs are really close to each other in price and you can actually probably find better deals uh, if you look around on the internet or you check out eBay or some forums that have for sale threads. Uh, as far as performance goes, clock for clock, the Intel 
will win in pretty much almost every scenario, except for if you run um, strictly multi-threaded applications that require more cores, then sometimes if you're running at stock clock speeds and you don't overclock, the 1100T will slightly edge ahead of the Intel 2500K. Now, if you're a person who overclocks, I would definitely say going with the Intel 2500K would be your best bet because while the motherboards for the Intel chipset are a bit more expensive than the AMD chipset, not only do you get a lot more features, but you get a far better overclocking potential out of the 2500K than you do the 1100T. One more thing to consider is the onboard video capabilities of both of these platforms. On the 2500K, you actually have the on-die video, which you will have to buy a H-series chipset motherboard to actually support this. Now, on the AMD side, the 1100T, as well as any of the other AMD CPUs, you'll have to buy a motherboard that supports the video on the motherboard itself. I'd like to thank all of you out there for watching, and please rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys all have a great day.